Welcome to our ETL video tutorial. The tool for data extraction, transformation, and loading ETL provides data collection and integration in Prognos platform. The ETL module provides quick transfer of large volumes of data using connection to industrial database management systems, files of various formats, and multi-dimensional data warehouses. Besides, you can perform various data transformations, including filtering, joining, grouping and sorting, conditional selection, and so on. The ETL toolkit supports two operation modes, built-in import and export tools implemented as user-friendly wizards in Prognos platform objects like MDM dictionaries and time series databases. To solve more difficult data transfer problems, Prognos platform allows you to use a special object called the ETL task. The ETL task is implemented as a separate workspace designed for convenient placement of objects involved in data extraction, transformation, and loading. For example, the current ETL task is designed to extract data from a Microsoft Access file source. Here, we load data into the tables involved in generation of the dictionaries and multidimensional cube. Let's analyze the objects involved in the current task. The Microsoft Access file used as the data source stores annual data on socioeconomic indicators of world countries. The data extracted from the source are treated with special objects called transformers. To create dictionaries, we need to split the data. One part of it gets into the data consumer, and two other parts are further transformed. These data are used in the dictionaries of countries and indicators. That's why it's necessary to clean them of any possible duplicates. After all transformations, the data get into the consumers. At this stage, the repository tables, which served as the basis for creating the dictionaries and multidimensional cube, are used as consumers. Execute the ETL task. Information on ETL task performance can be saved in a special log. So, the data from the Microsoft Access file have been loaded to repository tables. Now, you can access the data from the dictionaries and multidimensional cube. To do so, open the cube in one of the analytical tools. Let's create new ETL task. You can use objects of the Prognos platform repository as providers for the ETL task. Microsoft Excel files, XML files, text, and other files can also be used as the data providers. The extraction procedure can also be described using the embedded programming language so that you can extract data from any other source. The copy data object is designed for quick transfer of large data volumes without any transformations. Let's add an access data source to the workspace. Set its name and identifier. Select the database file and write the query to extract list of countries from the corresponding table. Let's review the extracted data. As you can see, the source data contains some duplicate entries. It means that you need to remove duplicates after the data extraction. Let's retrieve the list of output fields from the source table. Source output shall redirect data to the input of a consumer or transformer if preliminary data processing is necessary. You can define this connection later by adding a data consumer and transformer to your workspace. Now, add a data consumer to the ETL task. Repository objects as well as external files can be used as consumers. Let's load data into the repository table. Select the table of countries as the consumer object. All entries in the table will be deleted before loading. Retrieve the list of input fields from the consumer. In the next page, specify strategy of error handling. Set option to skip only incorrect records. If necessary, you can define a consumer for such entries. Then, you can select the fields used to determine if the record is to be added or updated. As we clear the consumer before loading, setting this option is not necessary. Thus, you have placed the data source and the consumer in your workspace. Now, connect them using the transformer object. The possible transformations in the ETL task include data filtering and sorting, uniting and joining data from different sources, splitting data into several consumers, conditional selection of data, and so on. Moreover, you can set a user algorithm of transformation. As we detected some duplicate entries in the source, we need to use the delete duplicates transformer. Data get into the transformer from the provider output. The fields for transformer input are also taken from the provider. The same fields are provided for the output. 
their connection with the input fields of the consumer will be defined later. If necessary, in the following wizard window, you can define a separate consumer for storing the deleted duplicates. Let's check country names for duplicates. Now, you can denote which records contain the same values in the checked fields, shall be included into the resulting dataset. Select the most complete records, that is, entries of all fields of which contain values. Connections between the provider, transformer, and consumer appear on the workspace. Let's define bindings for input and output fields of objects. Fields with the same names will be bound automatically. The others should be bound manually. After the provider and consumer options are set, let us define the main properties of the ETL task, its name, identifier, and log where information on the task performance will be stored. You can place the shortcut on the workspace for convenient viewing of the log. Shortcuts of other repository objects can also be placed on the workspace. Save the created task and execute it. When the ETL task has completed, a message appears notifying of successful completion of the task and its execution time. Open the task log. As you see, the task has been executed, but some entries have been skipped as duplicates. Open the data consumer. As you see, the duplicate entries have been deleted while importing. Thus, we imported data from the Microsoft Access file to the table of the Prognos platform repository, having deleted duplicate data. So, with our ETL toolkit, you can easily create algorithms for extraction, transformation, and loading data of any complexity, as well as generate report specifying both loaded and unloaded entries. Besides, with the module of data extraction, transformation, and loading, you can easily perform complex, automatic, and semi-automatic checks of large volumes of data. Our ETL video tutorial is over. Thank you for your attention.